All right, YouTube, so Paul Bates here, day uh, 114 of unemployment. That's unbelievable. I would never have guessed that in a million years, what was gonna take my company down, but it's, it, it's definitely down. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Uh, today is uh, the middle, of, getting course in the middle of July here. We didn't do a video last week because we were on vacation. And I do wanna share this with you because I think it was just absolutely incredible and absolutely beautiful. We got to see a big horn sheep just up close, just we got within 10 feet of this thing. We rented a 24 foot pontoon boat. Isn't it just gorgeous though? I mean, my God. Anyway, a couple more things, uh, updates, the two boats that, uh, that we uh, helped list and we have them listed here on the channel, uh, both of them sold. So that's very cool. We're excited that the owners, uh, they got their money and uh, they're, they're moving on. So that's always exciting. And anybody that wants help with something like that, just hit me up, man. It's all free. I'll do it 100% free. I didn't charge them a dime, didn't ask for anything. Um, and, it, and it was fun. I enjoyed doing it. So anyway, if you've got a project like that, let me know and I'm happy to help. Next thing is uh, we, we didn't get anybody looking at the house while we were gone, but we did uh, uh, had some lookers over the weekend. We had uh, two people actually looking uh, over the weekend and I expect an offer here pretty soon. So a couple of things I'm getting ready to do here as we make this transition over into the trawler is uh, you know what am I gonna do for money? So folded metal is a good uh, resource for that, and we're going to uh, I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna work it hard these next couple months, um, and and get try and get as much uh, revenue generated from that that aspect uh, as I can. You know because the the more I have working for me, and the least I have to do when I'm out there for money, the better off things will be. That's for sure. So another thing I want to talk about real quick is uh, Ethereum and why I like Ethereum. You guys see I got my Digibyte t-shirt on here. I love Digibyte, but I also own Ethereum and I, and I think it's a good strong platform. I think it's going to be the basis of where the crypto and, and, and all of them go uh, in the end. And I think we're still, there's a lot of people that are speculating, you know, that, that you know, this is going to happen here pretty soon. But I think we're still a ways away and as we make that transition into the, you know, to the blockchain, uh, one of the things that's holding it back, in my opinion, is uh, the, you know lack of technology yet. We still don't have. We're not all the way there yet. We need. We need. You have to have a global coverage of the internet to say, hey, we're going to have a digital dollar or, or or something like that. And right now we don't have it because you get into these little urban areas that with no uh, internet access or something like that, or even like a little state park like I was at. This weekend, you get a vendor in there that doesn't have access because he doesn't have, uh, you know, the, the cell service is weak or no good. How does he exchange money? So, I, and we're not there yet. We st we st we're st we still got to get there, but we're close. The U.S. is very very close um, at, at having the coverage, but we're still you still get these remote spots where if a transaction needed to take place, it it can't still even in the U.S. today. So, and they're working on that. I think uh, Elon Musk with a uh, global net. Uh, the the space project that he's got going on with Spacelink, I think that's going to be bigger than 5G. Uh, 5G scares me a little bit actually, but uh, that's just my personal opinion on it. We'll see we'll see what happens in the end. But anyway, I am a big component of Ethereum. I I hold it. I continue to hold it. I will always hold it. Um, uh, I want to try and get up, but you know, my goal this year is to have 50 uh, coins of it before uh, the end of the year, and I'm close. You know, I got 18 now. I was hoping that the price does come down a little bit so I can jump in there and, and buy some more of it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. You know, it's holding at that 230 ish level, um, and, and, and that's that's uh, I started buying it about 180 ish, and that's probably my cost average on it. So I'd love to see it jump down there, you know, get, just give me one little shot at it here and I'll, I'll jump in with uh, some, some, some serious cash and get in there. But I just don't know if we're gonna see that big explosion, uh, the big pullback on it. We might, if the market, uh, the stock market pulls back, we could see the, the cryptos pull back like Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum and a couple of these. But, uh, you know, who knows? I heard Chainlink is, is getting ready to just, it's, it's exploding, you know, right in front of our faces. So we'll see. Anyway, Paul Bates, Daisy, uh, peace out. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And make sure you hit that uh, subscribe and uh, uh, ring that bell. Anyway, we love you guys. Peace out. Bye.